if you're like me and want to RGB up your old plain normal graphics card, this is the video for you. Hi guys, Ralph here. This is the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2060 OC. I've had it in the computer for a while, it does me fine. The only problem is it doesn't light up. So I'm gonna try and see if I can do something with this and get this to be fully addressable, RGB, non-addressable or whatever, to get it to actually light up and look funky inside the case. So before I have to take this out, um, I want to show you the inside of my computer in the office, can't in here because it's the garage, but um, here is this inside and this is my problem I'll show you in a second. So here is my gaming rig, this is a um, MSI 110R mid tower with a MSI MPG Z590 Gaming Plus motherboard and covered with loads and loads of cool master halo yeah, fans. And the uh, be quiet uh, sink in uh, yeah, heat sink right in the middle. I'm gonna change the fan on that, those anyway, to, to match the rest of these. I have a couple spare, one goes in the middle, and one goes at the front, just to make this a bit more. But I've got the graphics card, it's obviously it's, it's the RTX 2060 RTX, I say RTX, yes, it's a gigabyte one, GeForce, which is quite nice, but it doesn't light up. The motherboard behind a little bit light up, but it's nice, really bit dark area there and that's what we're going to address i want to make the fans pop out instead of being so dark and so nicely lit everywhere else it's kind of strange that there's a, a dark part there i mean this green stick here is a riser to hold up both the um the be quiet and the graphics card but i use that so i should set that to be a temperature gauge so green at the moment means everything's fine goes to the yellow usually when i'm gaming and then goes to red when it's on fire so we're going to take this out now and we're going to start having a look at how we can put the rgb lighting on the graphics card so there you have it it is just a dark spot inside the pc i'm not quite happy with it, but this will just make it look a bit better so that's gonna be stripped down in a moment so leds leds are just leds they're just strip lights are they no i have quite a few different types the different voltages and all sorts of stuff the user tell you these are 12 volts these will work fine on a i think mine on the port's going to be a jrgb i could use the j rainbow but that needs five volts so where the port is actually on mine on the motherboard. So this is the motherboard with the heat sink up here. It's right in the bottom left hand corner. But the rainbow one, which I've already got on that stick, which I used for a temperature gauge to hold this up and the heat sink, is kind of over here. So I can't use that one, but this corner one, perfect. But where this is actually mounted inside a PC like that, I'm gonna run, I want a cable coming out of this back corner here. So it's gonna be up against the actual uh, motherboard probably come out there so it can come straight down and just be hidden against the motherboard not over here or over here to be seen i could possibly do it that corner and run it up the case to another one at the top but it will be yet another cable i don't really want to see so it's going to come out here it's going to be a strip of leds coming all the way around and out so yes lights i could use these these are 12 volts but the gaps between there's three leds per per strip that you can cut so if i did that on there i'd be having um yeah i could probably bend that around i might just be able to squeeze five leds onto a onto a straight which probably will be fine however i bought these which are 12 volts which is good I bought these in a the bag five meters can I always do with leds oh come out come out come out so as you see the difference there's a lot more LED for your book. So let's have a look. If that goes there, edge to edge, <laughs> let's just say um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 per side. Maybe five either there. It's going to look a lot better. So these are already came pre-wired. I'm probably going to use that end because that end will fit inside the PC. I could 
there are different connectors which only have three on there, but yeah, that will fit into there if it does. Just make sure it's the right polarity because there's an arrow on there. And that is that way around because they're arrows, but that's that's been pedantic at the minute. I did buy these, which are 24 volts, which go in the Enterprise D case. Too much voltage, these are still 50-50s, still pretty good. I bought an LED strip kit. And these are still 50-50s, which means there's, there's, that's the distance between 50, 50, 50, 50. They are very close together, but these are five volts. I can use these for something else, I'm damn sure. If not, they go back to Amazon. So what we are using is this 12 volt. Now say if you use the J Rainbow socket on the board, five volts is the way to go. If not, it's that. So everything away, we're gonna start stripping this down because the way this video is going and I think on this one on the 2060 all I need to do and I remember taking this part, part before there are four pegs that come off the plastic probably here 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 and here screwed in by that screw silver screw there one there and if you would noticed that's not fully flush because I broke this pin off so I need to be careful it's on it's not a problem I mean I can see the screw moving when I move the actual case. Just wants to be screwed in properly when we do that. So this part will come off, that'll be very easy. Make sure to take this pin header off because that's gonna be the power controls for the fan. So a very easy strip down. I'm not going into taking the boards out. I'm gonna give this a blowout while it's out of the case. But to be honest, it's actually pretty good. Tiny bit of surface dust, nothing major to do. So I'm gonna take the four screws out, get myself tidied up and let's start chaving up this graphics card. So with the fan section off and the LEDs ready, I'm actually going to take off this because this is just too short and I've got the right connector which goes into the motherboard, not that one. That one is the right one which goes in, but I'll save that for another day. There's no point in doing that one just yet. So I'm gonna desolder this one off here and resolder this cable, which is it's gonna come from this corner here. So once it's out of the board there, I've got all of this length of cable, which is probably too much, but I can always hide it away anyway. It would be nicer if it was all black, but you've got the power one there for the black anyway, which is in gray. So I'm looking to sol desolder as they are now, it will go in that way around. The positive is the gray for me. Then the first one is green, then red, then blue in that order for me which corresponds with down here if they're all the wrong way around the absolute worst case when you plug it in that way turn it that way but that's if they're all wrong which they're not going to be they're going to be perfectly fine because I'm, I'm good like that so that's out for me at the moment that pin there broke off before and it broke off again so i'm gonna have to be careful with that anyway the fans themselves i might actually remove these fans just to get the actual LED strip right around the edge. And it's not gonna be pretty, it's not gonna be anything, but it's gonna be covered over when it's inside. I did think about not having this side here because this is where the heatsink edge is here. But I think it's gonna look odd when you see the fans from th with the lights on the three sides. It's gotta be from four, and when it's underneath, I'm probably not gonna see it, but I will know that it's, it's not there. So let's get on with this. And I need to desolder that cable connector, resolder this. Maybe think if it's too long, because it's going to be, I think with the PC, is going to be, hmm, I'd rather have it more than than not enough. I did think about putting a short connector on here and then put an extension one, but I don't have one. If you do have one and put a short little stubby, like, like the length of that, which is for the fans, coming out of the case, Fine, then get an extension piece, one of those on one end and one of those on the other end. That's fine, we can just push together and you'll be fine. So I'm gonna re desolder that, resolder that, let that dry, and then we can put some LEDs around. So we're all ready. I've cut off the length that I need for there to go up to here. If I needed to cut it shorter, then I could probably get rid of it there where the soldering part is, and that would go all the way around and to there. To the edge which is fine for what we needed but like I said I wanted to go across there and that's going to be fine and taking there is a bit too much taking there I could always overlap but that's not a problem I'm gonna have to on mine to take a little bit away of this support at the side of here so I can get it a bit more flusher down to the bottom there also that one may be 
Yeah, because it's, it's secured onto this part here, this support strut here. Might even cut into that and then perhaps do something afterwards. There's one over here as well. Might need to pull that away, but it's only holding the cables in place. It goes behind that one there, but still that is still drying and I need that to secure in place. So it, it's, it's just basically peeling the tape off of that and then having it stick all the way around. So I'll need to do that one, support there, support there, support there and um, probably just support there i don't think that one's a problem but it'll just wrap around the outside if you know yourself make sure this is dust free and then just stick to your heart's content and then we'll fit it in place but at the moment just need to let that dry and then we can start sticking this so with the lights now fitted parts are trimmed down just make sure you've, you've squeezed between the lights and beyond the lights just to make sure it's stuck in place you want to put anything else on here maybe some hot glue maybe some i don't know anything else then this this part across here is going in but should be out of the way and not stuck to anything and i have rejoined it to itself without any soldering anyway so it doesn't want to join that way just back to so it does give it the nice little join there I mean, the cable coming out of there might be an issue, but there's plenty of slack kind of done with it going right in the corner. But I think, I mean, I should be all right. Worst case, I can cut it and try and move it round if it's absolutely horrendously rubbish. I mean, you can see some of the backs of it here. I might not come through. So with that in place, that's now pretty much solid. The glue has properly gone off. So we're all right. If you get any problems with yours on this, not fitting properly, just test fit first before anything happens. Now these, all four of these pins go into the first vent on all of this. So that being on that side, when well, this is gonna be the other way around, so that could do with being over there. Okay, well, there's a wannabe. So I'm gonna try and line up first vent on there and there cable and the lights are in the way so just push forward that's in there that's in there okay so we're actually we are fitting there's two pegs for mine on here yours may differ if you're doing it there we go perfect I know three of these will screw in place pretty well I mean, yeah, there's a little bit showing on there I'm not entirely happy with. It's on there like that. What I'm probably going to do then, anything that's seen, because this graphics card will go in this way. I might put some black marker pen around here just to blacken everything off. I might even do the back here before I've even put this in place. So once that's on, I'm going to screw these back in place. Again, that one on this side, make sure I'm putting the fans back on as well on this side was pretty weak anyway so i need to be careful with that that's not going to snap off but actually to be honest the only thing that's a problem is this um, heat pipe here and the leds are in the way of it a little but that's gone in place fine now yeah that's absolutely spot there's a couple that it's covering maybe on here it will be a little bit iffy on there but i think we got away with it so cool so i'm just Get these screwed in place, and then it's just about, I think, yeah, that's not too bad. Ready to fit. Yeah, after I put some black marker pen on. So with the graphics card now fully back together and fine, this will like I said, will go in that way. I was worried about the cable being in the way, being there, but it actually needs to bend down here. So with it being out of the way, it will go down and follow the back. That should be long enough. Yeah, of course it is. From where it is, it's the top slot on the on the computer. This is longer than half of the PC at least anyway. So what we need to do now, do you think what I mean about putting the black on there? This will never be seen on the inside. I just dawned on me that. I haven't actually tested the lights on this yet. So yeah, all being well. You can see them all through there anyway. That's good. I can't fully see. I can't see all those. That's fine. That's absolutely spot on what I need. Back of them are on there, which can be seen down here. And these can be seen right inside there. Barely. Yes. So I need to put this back in computer. I have done the fans, by the way. Plug this in. 
see if it works and happy days okay everything's in everything's plugged in everything's as it should be i've even put over here if you can just see that one of the halo um rgbs as well on there so that's took off one of the cool cool uh, yeah, be quiet ones i couldn't remove the one in the middle because it's a different size so you can't see that i could have possibly put another one on the bank if i were really that desperate but no so let's try with the power going on in three two one go ah ah there we are i'm not a bit late for some reason that's a bit weird so the newer one is carried on with the pattern which is good I can control that with the button on the top of the case, which is fine. It goes through whatever colors and whatever sequences. So that's cool. So we have green. I think it's probably set to either standard green or it's set to, I don't know, is it from the temperature? Boot the computer booting up. Let's have a look now and look at MSN. I mean, it's nice and green. From underneath, it does look quite good. From on top here as well, from my angle, from look over here, it does kind of glow as well through here. So I'm going to have to just dim that down quite a lot. It's connected right in the corner. So it's fine. There's a, uh, there's a cable there I didn't put back in properly, which is from this thermometer stick, the, this, the riser stick, the support stick. I can do that in a second. I'll do that on my own time. I just get stuffed in with all the rest of the cables right in that corner above the um, power supply. So that's fine, we are, we are working. So let me get MSI up. For me, this is the best way to go onto the, the RGB Fusion, I think it is. So that will control the lights. So we've released, the top ones are exactly the same as these, what if the ones at the front of the fan, or from the, how you say it on the one at the back, there's three at the front, two at the top. So it's loading now, let's have a look. Right, Mystic Lights on. So I think it's RGB1. Let's set it to, uh, let's set it to pop. Just get that thing to go pop. Does that work? No? Oh, okay, it's gone red. What does pop do? Don't know. Um, Clock, what's clock do? I'm not sure if it actually addresses a circuit or just changes colour. Yeah, that's a shame that it doesn't work for a full colour wave, maybe. Can't change the speed of that. It'd be good if it actually went round. So I know that it's say similar to some other stuff. But it looks like it's just doing the standard RGB for all. Uh, rainbow flashing visor. Hmm. It is definitely working, it is addressable. I can do stuff with it. So the rest of the stuff is on, I think. Um, so I need to see what it is actually when it's standardly off with all this stuff. Just press and hold the button and it goes into dark blue. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go to steady color. Cool, it actually does really good, well works to be honest. So I'm quite happy with that. Steady, blue. Will it match with everything else in there? Some reason it's gone off, there we go. Like I say, I keep the one at the back as a temperature gauge. That's fine, that's now glowing up everything, except for the motherboard being red for no reason. So yeah, easy way to RGB a graphics card and that's took absolutely nothing. So done, winner, winner, turkey dinner. So, yeah, thanks for that. Please like, share, subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye for now.